Hello and welcome. I'm Nicola Lambeau and this is West Hollywood Buzz TV, your best source for information about all the buzzworthy people, places, and things in the glamorous and creative city known as West Hollywood. In this edition, we'll show you where to find premium pampering for your pet and introduce you to a unique rock band that's putting a new spin on disability awareness. We'll also get you suited and booted for an adventure in fitness training. We've got all this and more on West Hollywood Buzz TV. WeHo, as West Hollywood is affectionately known, has earned the well-deserved reputation of being a world-class destination for dining, shopping, entertainment, and celebrity spotting. But the real stars of WeHo are of the four-legged variety. Home to an average of 1,000 dogs per square mile, the city has the distinction of being one of the most pet-friendly communities in the nation. But sometimes, the hectic schedule of pet owners means a lot of alone time for their faithful companions. Enter Kelly, owner and operator of Puddle Makers. More than a dog walking service, Puddle Makers provides one-on-one -on -one attention to homebound pets, eliminating behavioral problems caused by boredom. Both older animals who may not handle the high energy of traditional daycare or large groups, as well as younger or unsocialized pets that do better on their own, benefit from this individualized care. We met Kelly to learn more about the philosophy behind Puddle Makers' no large group policy. It's only you as a client. There's no large groups. If you just have one dog, for instance, that's being walked, then I just do the one dog at a time. Just that I love what I do. <laughs> I, I created it for that reason, because I wanted to do something that I love to do. So what, what better thing to do in Southern California than be outside and be with animals? So now, if your pooch has the blues, who are you going to call? Puddle Makers, of course. Visit www.puddlemakers.com and set up your free in-home consultation. If you want to know what new products are available for your pet's health and well-being, pop in to Collar & Leash Pet Supply on Santa Monica Boulevard for everything you need to pamper your pet. A mainstay for West Hollywood residents, Collar & Leash is their first stop for top name brand natural foods, toys, grooming aids, and so much more. Well stocked and run by a caring staff, the pet friendly atmosphere makes for a pleasant shopping experience for you and your furry friends. So say you're more of the bird or fish type, no problem, Collar & Leash has got you covered and carries a variety of basic supplies to meet the needs of your high-flying and deep-sea friends. But you don't have to take my word for it. Well, we're very, very pet-friendly. We love it when people bring their dogs in, and any dog who comes in is welcome to a treat. It's very competitive pricing. Um, uh, most, most items from what we hear, even from our customers, we have better prices than, you know, a lot of the other places that they go to. Collar and Leash is located at 8555 Santa Monica Boulevard and is one of three locations in the Southland. Their seven day a week, nine to nine business hours are designed to accommodate the busiest of schedules and their ample parking make it easy to swing by. Visit the West Hollywood store and see if your pet will give it four paws up. West Hollywood's music scene is legendary. With music meccas such as the Whiskey, the Roxy, and the House of Blues, artists from around the world have made the trek west to try and secure a place in music history. Well, the progressive rock band City Zen didn't have to travel far. This homegrown outfit has blazed stages in and around the West Hollywood area since 2007. Adam Smith, brothers Chris and Nick Woods, Jeff Line, Joe Spangler, and lead singer Toby Forrest not only thrill audiences with their eclectic funk metal sound, they also heighten awareness about persons living with physical disabilities. Forrest, a quadriplegic due to a diving accident, performs his hard-driving vocals from a wheelchair. But it is City Zen's musicianship that garners the most attention. Recently, they beat several dozens of groups in an all-out battle of the bands, winning a coveted opening slot at the new state-of-the-art Hard Rock Cafe on the Las Vegas Strip for their New Year's Eve show. We caught up with the boys in the band during a rare break in their busy schedule. Invisible Mental Tentacles is that ability to reach out as an artist um, and influence people with our music. And I think that's what our music does. Everything on that album is a story and it's meant to entertain. And if we can't get you dancing, if we can't get you to love the music or the artwork or the lyrics, we're gonna get you to think and feel. If you love rock and roll, you can listen to samples from City Zen's new album, Invisible Mental Tentacles, and find out where they'll be performing next at citizenband.com. 
For many women, getting in shape in an indoor gym can be an adventure to say the least. Between jockeying for equipment, exercising next to the mega fit, and fighting the monotony of staring at four walls, it's enough to send anyone in search of a comfy couch and a pint of ice cream. However, here's a great alternative, Los Angeles Adventure Boot Camp. This non-intimidating fitness program utilizes energizing outdoor group activities, nutritional counseling, and fitness instruction to gently guide campers to their desired goals. Campers can expect to lose inches, increase stamina, and build confidence, all while having a great time in the great outdoors. Conducted by NSCA Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist Eric Long, Los Angeles Adventure Boot Camp is unlike other boot camp style programs. Rather than rely on more abrasive type of motivations, Long promotes a kinder, gentler workout that does not employ yelling or bullying. Instead, the emphasis is placed on having fun. In fact, the primary requirement for the program is a simple one. If you can play hopscotch or catch a ball, you can do this camp. I like that we do a lot of different things every day, so it's, you never know what's coming. Uh, we usually start out with a dynamic warm-up, and then it sort of becomes recess for grown-ups. Uh, once all the work is done, we finish up with a cool down and we stretch. And then of course our, our, our primary thing is to see if we can get these women in the best shape of their lives. Whether you're a beginner in need of a jump start or an advanced athlete looking to add a variety to your routine, your fitness adventure begins with a quick trip to LosAngelesAdventureBootCamp.com. When it comes to the well-being of its residents, the city of West Hollywood demonstrates an uncommon level of caring. Disproportionately affected by the HIV AIDS epidemic, the town known as the Creative City has risen to the occasion with creative solutions for addressing the needs of victims of the disease. One such solution is to embrace organizations dedicated to meeting the specific needs of impoverished individuals and families living with HIV AIDS. Among those organizations is the nonprofit Aid for AIDS, the SARA Project. Once two separate entities, AFA and the Sarah Project, joined forces in 2009 to further extend their reach into the lives of destitute AIDS-impacted people. Because adequate housing and proper nutrition is critical to the welfare of the chronically ill, the organization has become a leader in providing services to the impoverished clients facing hunger and homelessness. Services include group homes with 24-hour nursing care and HIV-specific meals for those who find themselves living in unhealthy or unsafe conditions. Their doors are open to those in need regardless of race, gender, age, religion, or ability to pay. We visited the organization to learn more. Aid for AIDS and the Sarah Project uh, provide housing and supportive services to persons living with HIV AIDS in Los Angeles County. And we do this through three primary programs. We have our group homes program, we have our permanent housing program, and we have our direct financial assistance program. So for example, if somebody needs uh, rental assistance or if they need utility bill assistance, we're able to create programs that kind of focus in on that. Or if they need food or transportation or help with their uh, health insurance premiums. To find out how you can help, go to aidforaids.net and saraproject.org. The Pulse of West Hollywood is found on a busy thoroughfare known as Robertson Boulevard. Linking WeHo with Beverly Hills and Culver City, the tree-lined Dine and Fine District is perfect for stargazing. Spot celebrity shoppers as they dodge the ever-present paparazzi in order to peruse the racks of designer boutiques like Armani Exchange, Erica Courtney, and Lisa Klein. And if you're feeling peckish, then follow the stars and secure a seat on the patio of the landmark eatery, the Ivy. There you can do as the stars do, see and be seen, all while enjoying tasty soups, salads, or an old Hollywood classic cocktail, the Gimlet. If takeout is more your speed, Cuvée Wine and Food offers tasty bundles of gourmet sandwiches, pastas, and more. Robertson, definitely a buzzworthy boulevard. And that's going to do it for this edition of West Hollywood Buzz TV. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, exclusive Buzz discounts are available at many of the businesses you've just seen. Simply mention West Hollywood Buzz TV to receive these exclusive offers. Also, you can find more information on the businesses, people, and events in this episode at mylocalbuzztv.com. Be sure to visit us again for the latest buzz on the coolest people and hottest spots and happenings right here in West Hollywood. Until then, I'm Nick. Nicola Lambo, see you next time. <laughs>